Okay, hi there again. It's Tim with Far North Magic. Uh, trying another one of these. Again. Going to... Um, I don't know. Hopefully, get something cool. Uh, we are starting out with a fallen shinobi as the first rare so that's not exactly what we're looking for but just it could be worse in a way we got the snow covered basic and Sword of Truth and Justice is the first mythic. So and we get just one of these basics per case it seems. I think there was international like boxes in other places that were a bit better for the at least that was what the rumor was, but I didn't really want to spend I wouldn't have really wanted to spend the extra money on just uh extra snow basic like in foil. It's not really worth a big premium so okay we got the first of the camp healings for this box being a waterlog grove it's like one of the tied with the silent clearing to be the lowest in the series The Islet and the camp and the canyon being the better ones, and then even the peatland picking up. And we got Hogak, not uh, getting the greatest rare so far, other than the glory. Into Akaya's Guile, that's not bad. got Geomancer's Gambit, Force of Virtue, Reap the Past, that's not a good one. Unearth. As the a foil and mirrored and besieged as the rare. Okay, so we got Genesis. It's definitely not the green rare that we're looking for. We're looking for I don't know. Even a lot of them are not terrible for the green rares now. We got Collector Oomph as an example. And we got a Fiery Islet as the next canopy lane. And we got a Yogmoth. Yogmoth Grand Physician. And we got Collected Conjuring.
Dead of Winter as the rare. This is kind of Alayla, Queen of Bears. An okay start, but hopefully second half is better still. Got Alpine Guide in Foil. And Pashalik Mons in the rare. Okay, so moving on to second half. We got a Frost Walla in foil. And another spirit in the rare. Oh, we got a hit, at least a Ranger Captain of Eos in foil. And Silent Clearing is the rare. So we're getting there on lands a little bit. And we got a decent foil. So it's not really the mythic foil that you're looking for. Better than zero. Spiteful sliver as the rare. Some of them, like even that uh, the Sarah the Benevolent, is a really good foil compared to like her regular value. Art Mage's Charm. Morphon, the Boundless. So, for at least one more rare uh, mythic, I mean, and one more campy land at least. Aladomri's Call, and hoping for Force or something big. Here at Legion Slumber. Oh, we got another canopy. We got a Nurturing Peatland. Might be able to go for the five canopy challenge. Oh, what's that pack up? We got Force of Despair. Wrong force again. Got future sight. That's definitely the wrong blue rare. I don't think anyone's looking for that one. And we got Kaya's Guile. Phantom Ninja and On Thin Ice. And Lynn. It's definitely not what you're looking for. Got like five more boxes, uh, five more packs. And Cloud Shredder, Sliver. Three more packs. This pack is just a nightmare. Winds of Abandon. <sighs> Skelemental. Got Ranger Captain of Eos. So we did get four non foil, four regular mythics. 
And can we get the last land we're looking for? Or a force? No, we got Mist Syndicate Naga. Yeah, a dismantling blow. That was kind of disappointing. So, we got... Uh, Still covered swamp. And four canopies. And four mythics and a foil ranger. So not the greatest mythics. So kind of just an average box. Didn't hit any of the big cards, so this has been another kind of underwhelming box but is what it is thanks again for stopping by hope you'll check out some of the others uh, like share subscribe comment if you could thanks again and take care bye